Okay. Everything's kind of gone wrong this morning. I didn't intend coming down here. I were off into the north side of Dane's Dyke. But the new camera decided it wanted to tell me to scan a QR code and activate it. So, can't get to use that for, for the little dog. So I might use this. But I'm onto the beach now. Dane's Dyke's roaring, look. And no idea how any of this will pan out because let's just keep walking down here. End up going flying. I'm going to let him off his lead in a moment. Bridlington. It's about 5 a.m. Catch you soon. Hold on, dog. Hold on. Go on. There he goes. What are you doing, you maniac? I don't even know if you can see him, you know. Absolutely nuts. Let's put a torch on. Go on. Come on, find the mice. Not me, you loon. This way, Bob. That's it, fetch him. Oh, God, he seems to think... Uh, hey, there's all that beach to play on, yet you want my feet. Come on, get going. That's it. Come on, fetch him. Great morning, absolutely brilliant. As I say, got off to a bad start today because um, I fully intended going at north side of Danes Dyke and I've ended up here. Come on, crazy. Come on, that's a good lad. But no problem, he's happy. So if he's happy, we're all happy. But, uh, got the camera for Bob, which we might, I'll have to put him this one on because we've, we've sorted a harness out for him. And uh, we'll see how he gets along. It's just starting to rain. And, uh, you know, there's not loads to tell. There's been a UFO sighting very close. Uh, Fingers crossed we're off to location. Uh, my friend Ian has managed to speak to the people at the property because I don't know them uh, where this thing allegedly has landed. So that should be interesting. And um, let me give you a brief description. <coughs> Huge ball of fire that appears to have been morphing in and out of shape. And I hope we're cocking his leg up. He's becoming a real dog. And uh, became a cigar shape and landed in front of a hedgerow. The witnesses, and I say witness us, because there was three, informed me it went up into the air and resembled a cigar shaped object. It's very close to here. I'm not even going to say the exact location just yet because I need more information. Did you hear that splash? That was me crashing down into a rock pool that I'd not seen. And look at that lot. We'll pick this up in a moment. We'll catch you soon. Brilliant morning despite just starting to rain. Just pick this up again. And we're not going to walk far, in truth. Um, come on, dog. 
as I said before, I didn't even intend being here. I wanted to be somewhere else. Oh God, what's happening here? Come on. Look at face on it. It's just chasing me around. Come on. Come on, it's what the, probably thinks this camera's a biscuit. Because this morning, I've not got the, the hand grip on it because I had that for something else. I've got a little harness rigged up for Bobby so that he can have this uh, GoPro on. Come on, dog. This is good. You, obviously, you can hear the sound of the sea, but I talked about Hartendale gutter and the land drainage and this channel that takes the top water off the land well it's flowing this morning because we've had a lot of rain last night so we'll walk to it probably sounds getting a little bit louder now and there it is doing its job come on Bob And it's not really raining hard now. And there it is running. We'll get a little bit closer just to give you the effect, although I think everybody listening to this has heard the sound of running water. But it's great. And like I told you last time, we were on this particular part of the beach. People netting out there for salmon used to come down in the night and climb down there. Just climb down it, then disappear back into the night. Hardly paranormal, but uh, if we as humans can do things like that totally undetected, Think about what some other intelligence could get away with. So we'll leave that, we'll push on for a little bit. There he is. I am on springs this morning, Bobby. Get that on him, Bobster. And put that uh, harness on him probably later. I'll just wait a bit because he's crashing all over at rocks. There's some geese there. There they are, coming right over the top of us. Five of them, covering a bit of distance, and we shall continue, and we'll pick this up shortly. Okay, thank you. And we'll just pick this up, because I'm approaching the stone that I, kind of tongue-in-cheek, called the meteorite stone, simply because it just stood alone. There are black stones on the beach, but nothing as big as this one. And I think someone in the comments suggested it were a huge piece of coal. And uh, it's anything but a piece of coal. Obviously, it's just a piece of black rock. But it's fascinating that you've got one as big as that. And I don't see it tied wearing it down to sand anytime soon. It's still going to be sat here or some other place up and down the beach. For many many years to come and we're just going to approach it now it's there look and like i say it's a stone but uh, nevertheless you know if i'd got a great big garden which i haven't you can imagine having that as some kind of i don't know some kind of feature in your garden let's just tap it with a rock so that people realize just how dense this is and uh, we'll put Bobby on it. It can be on like a little pedestal. One sec. Let's put the camera down there. Come here, Bob. Get off the bloody camera. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. And there he is, look. Complete. Hey, stay there. Sat on it as well. No, he's not going to sit. He's going to jump off. And we'll move on. 
but we're not going far we're not going to be long today because we're now going to get Bobby's view of the world because a few people have said can we get him a a GoPro so we'll give this a go shall we it's about uh, 5.30, quarter to 6 a.m. So we'll pick this up in a moment. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how long it lasts. The GoPro, I mean. I said that and he's doing one of his uh, crazy bits again. So there's the Bob Cam. Come on. So we'll see how long the camera lasts. He's not sure about it. This is the first time he's had it on. And uh, we'll see whether a few hundred pounds lasts five minutes. him down if nothing else. Come on. Here we go. Oh god, the rock athlete was not quite a rock athlete then. Come on, Bob, can you get down here? Right, let's take this off. That'll do for the moment with Bobby. And uh, lots more landslide there. And uh, I always say I'm not going to walk much further and I always end up walking loads further. Don't know why I do that. But um, no more uh, reports of animal fatalities, marine mammals at the moment. But uh, all that can change near the sandpipers calling there, I don't know if you heard it. We'll stop for a moment. Lifeboat station. I've come round the corner now because it's it's quite safe. And this is the area where some of the marine mammals that I'd just touched upon earlier when I said there's there's no more being found. This is the area where they were found around here. So definitely not going much further you know tomorrow morning well when the tide's favorable I might go around that point but uh, we're okay at the moment and uh, Bob's still got his dog cam jacket on look we might pick that up with him in a bit there's the barn owl He's flying along the ravine, I don't even know, I've said it before, I don't know if camera will pick it up. But he's still enjoying a little bit of early morning hunting. Oh, there's another one. So, uh, brilliant, get to see all these uh, little different snips of wildlife. Okay. Come on, Bob. Just keep walking along here. I just want to get to point. Sarcastically, someone in the chat might be saying, why don't you just get to point, Paul? Double meaning to that. But I said I weren't going to go to this corner, but I am. So, here we go. And we're looking back now. There's a seal out there. If he comes in a bit closer, I'll have a go at filming him. There's another badger. Interestingly, uh, stay there. Sit. He's come across another one. So that, that's the second badger that's been found along here. And it, he's been dead some time. Bobby, come away. 
I said I wanted to get round the corner or onto the corner but there's just more of the corner and I'm not doing that I'm already a bit late I've uh, found a badger that's unfortunately dead on the beach another one so that's interesting it's been dead for some time and there's no there's no way that I could even suggest how it's come to a sorry end could have fell but uh, unfortunately it's with us no more but interestingly that uh, we're finding these marine mammals and land mammals I just said that there'd been no more fatalities and I find another when I want to get off this kind of boulder field and uh, head back I've got loads to do today absolutely loads and uh, I've already sort of walked quite a lot further than I said I was going to walk so I do that every time let's just uh, kind of wind this down we might stop for a, a moment and I'll give Bobby a little snack or something not that he needs it I think he eats better than me but look at this lot it's not great walking you're struggling the night without a light but uh, let's stop now come on so Bobby's uh, leading us off South Beach I'm going to get, uh, don't walk into me. We'll just have Bob Cam's view of the world. Come on. Come on. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm talking down to that camera but come here Bob stay there let me straighten that up as I've said this dog's many things all tongue-in-cheek as we know a rock athlete now he's a cameraman but he's a cameraman today and uh, he's doing a good job his camera skills are second to none aren't they Bob Come on, get moving. Come on, let's, let's move a little bit faster. Right, let's stop. Good boy. Doing a little treat. Up. Wait. Okay, that's about me done. We, uh, oh, dogs found biscuits, look. Worshipping them. If it's the choice between me and a, a biscuit, I think I know who's gonna win. So we're gonna leave it. And if you like what we're doing, press the like and subscribe. 
and I think this will be the last one from me today. So thank you very much. We'll catch you later.